Hi everybody, so today we're going to learn how to create some um, normal map details that we can use in Substance Painter. So we can open up 3ds Max and we're going to create a plane that's going to be 100 by 100 units. And then I'm going to be removing the length and width segments. Uh, you can then center your plane. And then I'm going to create a uh, cylinder. Let's uh, remove the height segments and convert it to editable poly. I'm then going to delete the top and bottom faces. I'm going to grab half of the uh, cylinder, then detach it. And I'm going to move it away from the center. Then I can go in perspective view and bridge both sides of the cylinder. I'll grab the two middle segments and bridge them together as well. At this point, uh, I'm going to want to select the entire element and flip the polygons around so that they're facing inwards. And then I'm going to add a connect uh, in the center. For this part, you can use the border selection, select the hole, then hold shift while scaling inwards. You can then right click and collapse and then just target weld the vertex to the other one. And then you can do the exact same thing on the other side. Uh, at this point I'm just gonna resize the height of my uh, object a tiny bit. I'm gonna clone my object as a copy and then I'm gonna make sure that it's isolated and I'm gonna delete uh, the, the right side of the polygons. From here, I'm going to be able to go inside of the edge selection mode and then take one of these edges and by using a shift and the vertex snap option, I'm going to be able to extend them twice uh, and then use the vertex selection mode and select everything up with control A and then uh, weld everything together. Now I can reuse the same collapse technique on the top part and just target weld the extra vertex back uh, down. And then I'm going to select all my faces and flip them around. A cool trick that I can use here is that I can use a push modifier with a negative value. And that's just going to ensure that my detail is sitting inside of my other shape. Then I'm going to grab my border and um, by holding shift I can extrude it out. Then I'm going to select the uh, inside detail, select these two polygons and extrude them out. Um, after that, I'm just going to want to make sure that all my smoothing groups are assigned. So uh, I'm just going to use the auto smooth option, which should do the trick. Then from here, I'm going to attach um, both shapes together. Then from here, I'm going to be able to add a chamfer modifier and I'm just going to change the tension around to 0.5 and add three segments. And then inside of the uh, input options, I'm going to change it to unsmoothed edges and that's going to ensure that I'm retaining uh, my hard edges when I add uh, a turbo smooth modifier. And uh, once I add my turbo smooth modifier, I can increase the iterations uh, up to three. And the cool thing about this workflow is that I can go back inside of my edit poly, um, make some changes, and then uh, my high poly is just going to work uh, as long as my smoothing groups are assigned properly. From here, I'm going to want to center my pivot and then center my mesh in the world. And then just go to the, to the front view and I'm going to be able to place it right above uh, my plane. So uh, what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to open up the material editor window and I'm going to assign a black, a completely black material onto my plane and then a completely white material onto my uh, detail. From here, I'm going to select both objects and uh, export them. And so this is going to be my high poly. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but uh, only with the bottom plane. Then you can open up Substance Painter and import your plane. And I'm going to change the document resolution to 2048. 
And if you don't see anything when you start your project, just hold Alt, left click and drag, and that's gonna uh, rotate the camera so you're gonna be able to actually see your plane. Then I'm gonna open up the big texture menu, turn off curvature, position, and thickness. And then I'm gonna click on ID and change it to material color and use grayscale as well. Then in the common parameter, you can change the output size to 2048 and then anti aliasing 4x4. And I'm gonna increase the max frontal distance quite a bit. Uh, then I'm going to select my uh, high poly. I'm also going to turn off world space normal and then everything looks good so I'm going to bake my textures. Okay so this is the result and let's um, export it. So I'm going to go to file, export textures and then I'm going to be using uh, Targa and um, set my directory for the export. I'm going to use the additional maps uh, configuration. If you don't have it, if you have Substance Painter 2018 and up, uh, it's going to be called Mesh Maps. Okay, so from here you can open up Photoshop and create a new file that's going to be 2048 by 2048. Then from here I'm going to import my normal map and my ID map as well. Then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to copy my ID map, then go to channels, create a new channel and paste it into my alpha channel. And just make sure that you're using 32 bits. And then I'm going to import my normal map and my ambient occlusion in uh, Substance Painter. Then by using the brush tool, I'm going to remove the alpha from the, from the brush. Then I'm going to remove color, height, roughness uh, and metallic and then I'm going to need to add ambient occlusion from the texture set settings and then I'm just going to plug my maps in the corresponding order um, and then I'm going to be able to use this brush to add details to uh, whatever model I'm working on. Okay so that's the final result and uh, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments and uh, that's it thank you for watching.